Hey, yo, what's up, what's up, guys? Zaid here with another episode of Sage Experience. So today I wanted to bring you five tips on how to make your travels a lot easier. If you're just somebody that wants to keep their food regimen the same way, whether you're carnivore, again, you're keto, vegetarian, whatever it is, these five tips are gonna make your life a lot easier. So stick around and let's check these out. So if you guys are new to this channel, make sure to subscribe. I come up with a new video every week. So make sure you hit the subscribe button and push the notification bell if you guys haven't already done so. But now, on with the first five tips. Tip number one, know where you're going. This may sound a little bit obvious, but at the same time, it can be a little bit tricky. If you guys are going to, let's say, India or a place out of the US, it's usually places where they eat a lot less red meat. So you're gonna have a harder time finding that kind of meat if you're going to a place such as that. I know that when I went to Bali, I had a really hard time finding red meat and uh, I was trying to do some of the carnivore or beginning to do my carnivore diet back then and it was really, really hard. And so I had to learn where to source all my stuff. So knowing exactly where you're going really helps. If you're going to a place like Japan, I know that over there they, they have a lot of red meat. They use a lot of pork, they use a lot of chicken as well. So you're gonna have an easier time finding stuff like that. Same here in the US, you have a lot of variety to choose from. But again, if you go to a place such as Mexico, uh, Mexico you can find a lot of places where they have all this, but it's gonna be a lot more carbs. I know that the tortilla is the base over there for just about every food you'll get sit down and you probably won't get as much meat if you're somebody like a carnivore but you can definitely still source some of that stuff out <laughs> So always know where you're going. It's one of the most important things. It really makes a difference. Now, tip number two, and this is if you're traveling, let's say and you're in the US and you're going for a road trip for a couple of days, take your own quality food. There is nothing better than taking your own stuff. I What I like to do in this particular trip, I'm over here at Yosemite, I have El Capitan sitting right behind me. I'm, I'm waiting for a couple of people that they went on a trek and I decided to do this vlog for you guys. I brought a lot of my stuff from back home. I brought a bunch of eggs, I brought a bunch of meat, and I just put everything in the cooler. I drove it up here, up to Mammoth, we're staying in Mammoth, and I've been cooking all my food regularly. It really makes a difference, that way you're not, let's say you come over here and you do find meat but it's terrible quality, or let's say you find chicken and it's terrible quality, or it's super expensive, that's the other thing as well. Things tend to be really expensive, especially if you're going on a vacation. And sometimes you want to save a little bit of that extra dough, and there's no better way than to kind of bring your stuff. Tip number three, obviously if you're somebody that's going overseas, you might not be taking your chicken with you. You're not going to be taking your red meat with you. And that's fine, that's totally understandable. But bring something that you can eat while on the trip. Let's say you don't want to eat some of that meat. Let's say you're doing carnivore, and let's say you're going on a, uh, on a plane ride that's gonna be about 18 hours, you know? I know a lot of people like to fast. What I like to do is I like to take beef jerky. Speaking of which, this bag was completely full two days ago. It's gone. There was like five pounds of beef jerky in this. I've been eating it nonstop. I love it. I love eating this beef jerky and apparently all the people that I brought with me that weren't carnivores also like meat quite a bit. They've, some of them have never even tried beef jerky before, so there you go. Also, if you're wondering how to make beef jerky, I'll leave a cart up here. That way you guys can learn how to make beef jerky. It's super simple, takes no more than five minutes. So check that out. But again, if you're going like something like a plane, beef jerky is a great option. I know some people even take cans of tuna when they go on a plane for work or something like that. You can definitely take a can of tuna. Maybe take some cheese. Cheese is great, especially if you source, again, good quality source will always make the difference. Turkey jerky, liver jerky, chicken strips. I know people love chicken strips. Uh, I have a friend that's been taking chicken strips for the longest time and it totally works for him. And you know, if that works for you, go for it. Now for tip number four, if you're going on a vacation, make sure you stay at a place where you can cook. That'll make all the difference guys, it really will. 
especially if you guys are the kind of people that want to cook all their meals that have a lot of they're kind of picky i am super picky with my food so there's no shame in that of being super picky with the quality of your food pick a place or get a place where you have a kitchen hostels airbnb booking or maybe somewhere where you can even start a fire i know a lot of people out here in yosemite there's little designated areas where you can start your own fire you can cook your own stuff outside and that's perfectly fine that will make all the difference guys and then again this goes along with bringing your own food that will also make the trip a lot smoother a lot easier and it will make it a lot more enjoyable and now for my fifth and final tip know the stores in the area obviously um, when I went to Bali, I found out when I got there because I there I wasn't researching the area at all. But once I got there, I immediately told my girlfriend, hey, let's go to the stores around. Let's see what they have. That way we know what we can eat in case we were running low on money or something like that. Again, let's say now you're vegetarian. Knowing the supermarkets will definitely help you out. It will basically dictate whether you guys are eating out every day or whether you guys are going to be cooking all your stuff at the B&B or the place that you guys are staying, you know? For me, once I got up here up to Mammoth, I found out that there was a grocery outlet store. Again, I'm not paid by these guys or anything, but I love that store. They have some great quality items. They sell them super, super cheap, and that made all the difference. I know where, that I can find meat. I know that I can find cheese. I know that I can find eggs. And for me, that's, that's my golden standard. If I can find a grocery outlet or a place similar to that, I'm good. And now let's say I went to a place where they only had like a Vons or or yeah, let's say a Vons. I know that my pocket is going to be a lot more affected. Vons does have every now and then some hot, like some good stuff, but it's also a lot more pricey. And the quality can also be a little bit dicey. So again, bringing your own stuff is the ultimate thing to do in my opinion. I think it, that's that's really the top thing. Bring your food, guys. That, that, that'll make all the difference for you. But yes, guys, just want to give you these quick little five tips for you guys that are traveling a lot, that it's sometimes find it a little bit daunting and you know, you're trying to stick to some kind of diet, some kind of regimen. Don't make it so hard on yourself. Make it a little bit easier by planning a little bit ahead. Um, getting to know the area really, really helps, guys. Again, having a place to cook, bringing your own stuff if possible, and if not, research the area once you get there, and it'll make all the difference. But thanks for joining me on another episode of Zay's Experience, guys. Please go ahead, comment, like, and subscribe if you guys know the deal. Push that notification bell if you guys haven't already done so. That way you guys get notified every time I come out with a video such as this. Also, in the comment section, guys, let me know what some of your guys' tips are. What do you guys do when you travel? I'm pretty sure there's a lot of people that are way more experienced at traveling than I am. So give us your guys' suggestions give the rest of the people that are watching this video leave all the suggestions down there it's gonna help everybody a lot but in any case guys I gotta enjoy the rest of Yosemite out here Zay out peace